Promise number two before I forget. Fucking Xanax and Dayquil is not a good combination. <laughs> Fuck this side. I'm going back to the fun side. Oh, never mind. I was already there. All right. Yeah. Promise number two before I forget, my friends, I will never ever ask you anything personal. Your personal business is just that, your personal business. It has no place up here. I know for a fact everybody out there has got some weird, messed up shit up here that nobody knows about, right? I know I do. We're not getting into that stuff, you know, I just want you to cut loose and have some fun. I get so many people that come up to me after every show and say, Michael, if I'd have known that's what you were going to do, I would have got up there. So don't miss out on this opportunity, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and do one more thing as a group, because I'm totally into the group thing, and I'm really... <laughs> See, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's like a, it's like a, it's spreading. That's good. We're getting there. You guys had no clue what you were coming to see here tonight, did you? Huh? You're all sitting here staring at the stage like you're waiting for a couple of white tigers to jump out of the back or something. We don't have any white tigers, all right? You're stuck with me and I'm stuck with you. Let's make the best of this shit. If you wanted to be all uptight, you could have saved your money and gone and seen a uh, Blue Man Group or something like that, all right? But you did. Don't tell us blue fuckers I was talking shit about it. Either. <laughs> I got a lot of money, they'll sue the hell out of me again. Seriously though, I've smoked a, <laughs> yeah, you got that, yeah. I've smoked a lot of weed in my day, surprise. I've smoked a lot of weed in my day, never once I've been so high that I said, you know what, I'm gonna paint myself blue. Bang on shit, and somebody's gonna pay me billions of dollars to do it. How brilliant is that, seriously? That's such a cool show. Let's get out of here and go see that, what do you think, come on. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. If you got some, we're gonna go ahead and do one more thing as a group. If you got something in your hand or something in your lap, go ahead and put it on the ground for me. Trust me, I've seen this shit before. And while you guys are taking 30 minutes to do that, I'm gonna step in the back and slam my dick in the door a couple times to try to wake up. I'm gonna be hanging like a big dog today. Oh, I just fucked up last night, I'll tell you that. I was drunk for 10 years. Oh yeah, I was doing a show. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to set this microphone down for a minute. When my producer Richard was blowing the guy to get us this room, he forgot to ask him for a microphone stand, and I'll be damned if I'll take five dollars out of my pocket and buy one. <laughs> nope, no microphone stand. He did get us this really cool uh, uh, semen stained Andy Warhol ass curtain, though, which is supposed to light up. I'm not sure what's. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey. That's production value right there, look at that. I guarantee those blue bastards don't have one of those. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm gonna go a little bit off topic, this has nothing to do with the show. What's really cool is when we moved down here from our, our room upstairs, it's being remodeled right now. We moved down here for like four months, and he calls me up, he's like, dude, my buddy's got this really cool uh, sparkly curtain that lights up. He's got this in his game room. And I came down and I said this, I'm thinking to myself, what kind of a creepy fucking pedophile has that in their house? I mean, seriously, how fucked up do you have to be that you would have that hanging in your house? Am I, okay, if you're a pedophile and I offended you, I apologize for that, obviously. So anyway, I digress, back to the prepared material. Take one hand, hold it up nice and high, make a karate hand. Everybody can do this. Hold it up there. Now, before we go any further, I want you to look around you and see some people who are not doing this. Look around. These are the anal retentive pricks who aren't going to have any fun. Look around. Fuck <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Two hands. <laughs> I will guilt you into having a good time. I understand how we get there. We just got to get there, right? Take this hand, grasp this wrist right here, my friends. You didn't have to do it that hard, but that's good. <laughs> Take notes, all right? Let this hand go nice and limp like this, right here. Let's go ahead and do it, brother. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> the big guy in the front is like, this shit better get funny fast. <laughs> Most of all, you homophobic bastards, this does not make you gay. <laughs> Put the man's penis in your mouth, that would make you gay. <laughs> Unless you're a woman that doesn't, they don't want to talk to you after this shit. <laughs> Okay, first of all, people, step the fuck off your high horse, all right? Don't be acting like you're too good for these jokes. You got tickets to my show. Your standards aren't that fucking high. All right, that didn't come out how I met it, but you know what I mean? What are you guys doing? No, I'm just Shake that hand back and forth with a quick like this right here. Not like this, brother. <laughs> Now start stomping those feet. Wake up a little bit. Shake those hands. Stomp those feet. Put some effort into your show. I'm talking to you hot bitches in the front, too. I'll come out there and start pimp slapping here in a minute. Like, oh, 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 oh. 
That's crazy. Shake those hands. Stomp those feet faster, faster, faster. Put some effort into your show. Shake those hands. Stomp those feet faster. Folks, a lot of people say to me, they say, Michael, I'm afraid if I get up there, you're going to make me feel stupid. <laughs> if you don't feel stupid doing that, there ain't shit going to happen to you up here. Look, guys, I can do a great job for you. Let's have a little bit of fun here tonight, all right? You guys need to make as much noise as possible when the chairs are full. We'll get started. Do your part. Get loud. Let's go. Let's go. Get up here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Your volunteers make some noise. There's no photographer in here. Please. All right, thank you guys for coming up. Hey, let me get a let me get a black guy up here. I gotta make my quota, man. Come on, get up here. I already got an Asian. Come on up here, sexual chocolate. Sit back in your chairs, guys. We're running a little bit behind here, and I've got a lot of show to do. Feet flat on the floor. Hands loosely in laps, preferably your own. Do not clasp your hands or cross your arms. Keep your eyes on me at all times. I'm your focal point. Please do, I, please do not talk to anybody on stage. What happens when we lose them is we don't have a show here tonight. Is anybody up here sitting next to somebody they know? This is very important. One person is sitting next to somebody they know. <laughs> but you're not sitting next to him, though, right? <laughs> A headache right behind my eye. <laughs> it happens every night, brother. Don't worry about it. So anyway, does ever? Let, let me just ask this, and I don't do this to be mean. Does everybody here speak English? Okay, cool. Because sometimes I get high, go to the wrong showroom. It's happened before. Uh, Lance Burton kicked the shit out of me one night. You have not an asshole. You got an asshole with a handful of cards and a bunch of dogs. I'll tell you that. But, Sit back in your chairs, eyes on me, feet flat on the floor, hands loose in your laps. Let yourselves relax, my friends. I'm your focal point. Keep your eyes on me. Try not to stare at my receding hairline. That shit kind of creeps me out a little bit. I try, to, I try to comb it over. There's nothing left. You young guys will get there someday, and it sucks. Trust me. It's fucking so, so bad. Back when I was broke and didn't have any money, I had all kinds of hair. Not old, chubby, and fucking rich. I got something. No hair. <laughs> Anyway, so keep those eyes on me until you're ready to close. And once they're closed, leave them closed. Don't anybody, and I mean this, don't anybody get up and walk off stage tonight for any reason unless I ask you to because your safety is my number one concern. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. My number one job is to keep you folks safe, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, okay? Nobody gets singled out. Nobody gets picked on. I will never do anything up here. It's going to hurt you. Just let someone go. Let someone have a good time. Uh, a lot of people think when you're hypnotized, you're actually asleep. Has anybody here ever heard the word sleep used with hypnosis? Have you ever heard that? If you've heard that, the reason for that is hypnosis is Greek for sleep or sleep-like. So a lot of people think when you're up here, you're actually asleep. Let me ask you a question. If you're up here and you were sleeping, and I was giving you shit to do, you'd probably just lay there. When you wouldn't do anything, right? <laughs> Get that out of your head. You're never, ever asleep. You can always hear the sound of my voice. Chances are real good. You can hear the noises in the room around you. This is the same in Dutch that I've done at casinos all over the world. It's the same when I've done a little motorcycle rally in South Dakota. You may have heard of it. Do you have any idea what 500,000 Harley Davidson sounds like? It's pretty fucking loud. If we can do it there, we can do it here. It ain't going to be a problem. Let us those go. Let's have a good time. The number one reason that people don't get hypnotized is because they try too hard. Has anybody here ever tried to relax or tried to go to sleep? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> did you guys all get together outside and say, hey, let's make this shit as hard as possible for you? If, if you did, kudos. You're doing a great job. I just want to throw that out there. I, again, I don't care because I've seen it. <laughs> It's actually a good sign. You ask your rock stars on stage a question this early on in the show, and they're already looking at you like, 